President Trump landed in Singapore and met with the Prime Minister there, a day ahead of his historic summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. It will be the first time a sitting U.S. president meets with the leader of North Korea. When Mr. Trump landed, he said he felt very good. And about 24 hours before the meeting with Kim, he tweeted, Great to be in Singapore, excitement in the air. And though the president has said that this would be a get to know you meeting, that would be the first of many. I think it's a process. I've told you that many times before. I think it's not a one meeting deal. He has also warned that he will walk out if he does not feel things are going smoothly. Expectations are high. It's a one time shot. The Trump administration has long said its goal is the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. I feel that Kim Jong-un wants to do something great for his people, and he has that opportunity, and he won't have that opportunity again. Kim Jong-un landed here on Sunday, five hours ahead of President Trump, and he flew in on a 747 Air China plane, showing off China and North Korea solidarity. This will be a historic meeting, but Susan Rice, national security advisor under President Obama, warns that others have cut deals with North Korea only to see them fail. The problem is that at every turn, the North Koreans would make commitments and then break them. And we need to be mindful that that is, again, what might happen. Mr. Trump is slated to meet with Kim on Tuesday at 9 a.m. in Singapore. That's 9 p.m. Monday in Washington. Kylie Atwood, CBS News, Singapore.